Today I'm going to show you how to effectively customize the talk.co widget. It's easy, it's straightforward, it's not complicated, it's something you can actually do by yourself. You don't need to contact a, a web developer or a tech person to do this for you. So if you have talk already installed on your on your website, I will show you how you can customize this to suit your own preference. So um first I will go to my website. Now this is our website, Digital Web Plus. You can see the this live chat here, it's that of talk. So you can see how it looks. You can see exactly how it looks here. So now I'll show you how we can actually edit this, how to change the design, how to change the color, and how to make it look better. For some people, or rather for some client, they actually need a color match, a color that match to the color of their, maybe their business, you know, they always have a primary color and things of such. So for any reason, you just want to change your, your chat widget, talk.to chat widget. On this video, I will show you how to easily do that. So first and foremost, I will log in into the talk platform. I already have an account, so I'll just um, sign in. Now I'm signing. So once you're signing, based on your top platform, you may have um, many websites already linked to it. So the first thing you should do is to come here. You can see as Digital Web Plus, we have another one. And if it's a new website, you can actually create come to add a property but we are working this on our digital web plus website so i'll click on it first it's already on it so under thing i'll do i'll click on this cube icon then you see this tray open here then under here you come to the channel under the channel this is the chat widget so click on the chat widget now this is the live code this is the the code that is placed on your website so if you don't have it yet on your website you can as well copy this code and go and place it in places you want it to appear on your on your website so for you to change the color as you can see the color the color here is green let's say i want the color to be something like red so to change the color what i'll do is I'll scroll down, you can see widget color. I'll click here, then I can actually drag this around to get any color of my choice. Or I can just go for the red here and um, let's use this color. Then you just click outside this box and automatically it's saved. So if I come back here and reload, now you can see the color has changed to red. So to do more customization, I'll come back to the talk. Now there is this advanced button. There is this advanced button. Let's click on the advanced. So from here, you can still change the color if you want. Now this is the color for your desktop widget. Now why I like this actual end is that Whatever you're doing, you can actually see the preview here. And when you're done, you click on save. So here you can actually increase the width. You can increase the height just to your own preference. But something so amazing here, but that is strictly for the desktop version. It's um, the gallery. But before talking about that, know that you can actually change the position where your chat widget displays now looking at this preview or going to our website you can see it is displayed on the bottom right so we can make this display on the bottom left we can make it display in the mid left or mid right or the top left or top right let me show you an example let's go for the mid left you can see where it display so we can click save here and come back to our website and reload. You can see it displays here. 
but this is not my preference but for one reason or the other it might be your preference so i had to show you that so i'll take it back disable the attention grabber what do you see here just the icon and now when you, when we enable the attention grabber back you see we are here so for the gallery if you click here you can actually select any image of your choice so we can change the image to let's say let's change the image to something like this to this one you can see it has changed you can turn it off and turn it on so now it's on and it has gone because why we haven't saved it yet so i'll come back i'll select it and i'll save it and if i come back to the home and i reload it you can see it's something totally different so you can actually do it based on how you exactly want it to appear so that is obviously not a, an issue it's something you can actually play around with and um, do it exactly you want the widget appearance i've changed it to this and you can see exactly how it works or how it looks so this is just it you, for this you can work on the width you can work on the height you can create the bottom radius that is the arc behind it so there are a lot of things you can do here you can work on the color remember this for your mobile and this for your pc version but something also great here is that um on the gallery you can choose to upload your own design so if you have your own design you can actually come here and upload okay i'll click on upload Here I have this icon. This is an image. It has uploaded, but the size is too big. I have um, resized the image, so I will come back and re-upload it. So if I come to the gallery and um, I come to upload, remember the image was previously so big, so now I have um, reduced the size. now it's a bit better so you can actually edit it to to suit exactly how you want it to appear so for now this is how it looks like so i can actually save this now let me come to my website now just something like this so it all depends on how you want it so it shouldn't always be be an issue I might not get the perfect design I actually needed, but I just made this to to let you see how you can actually customize it. For me personally, I prefer I prefer the default. I prefer the default the way it looks, and I'm okay with the color green. So I'll just cancel this, and I'll come back to my default color. Think on something of this nature so i'll just come back to my default color i'll come to the image grabber i'll turn it off and i'll turn it on back i'm trying to get back my my default the way it looks previously i can see there is no option for setting it back to default Oh, and now I remember I can go back here so I think we're done I've gotten what I want I've showed you all that is necessary so that's how you actually customize your chat widget to suit exactly what you actually want it for so when you're done remember to click on your save now I've clicked on save if I come back and I reload my website everything should be okay now now everything is okay just exactly how i wanted it so thank you so very much